Welcome everyone to this uh, live stream or live tutorial. Uh, this is Alex and I'm going to show you how to create a seamless pattern in CorelDRAW. The seamless pattern uh, option in CorelDRAW is really easy to do and it's also very pow powerful. In this in this uh, graphic or in this image, I I, I have a vector image of of the shirt the shirt alone I'm just gonna move this over here and what I did I I applied the pattern that we're going to create later on so I'm gonna put that back and then what's what's nice in this um, in this pattern is that number one it's seamless and number two it's very powerful because if I go to my interactive fill which I apply the pattern I can actually make the pattern bigger or smaller or I can rotate it a little bit and it does not affect any I mean you don't need to redraw it or you know or say if you power clip this one you have to go down go into the power clip and then scale it down but this one you can just like drag it to make it bigger and then small to make it smaller so um, this is powerful in uh, especially creating backgrounds not only for for t-shirts but also in backgrounds for your graphics and and also it is also stored once you create it and then once you create a pattern uh, you can store it actually in the pattern field which I'm going to demonstrate later. So if I go to interactive field, it's in here already. Oops. Say for example, I'm going to create a, uh, a rectangle and then I'm going to go to my interactive field and then click on the pattern field. It's already in there. And see this drop down here? Uh, you can make, you know, a lot of patterns here just for you. For your use anyway so I'm going to go to the pattern creation so we're going to start from here so this is what what we are going to achieve because we want to make sure that it's seamless right so if I go plus sign my keyboard here to duplicate and then I'm gonna drag this on to the right side I'm gonna make sure that I snap to the to this endpoint here. If you take a look, it's seamless, right? And if I'm going to um, duplicate this again, plus I in my keyboard, and then I'm gonna drag this down exactly to this endpoint, and you see it's seamless, right? So that's what we are going to achieve. So I already prepared a. Um, the objects that we are going to put into the uh, the square because in a pattern you have to create a square first so for example like this I'm going to create a square so click on your rectangular tool and then hold down control and then shift and drag to make a square perfect square and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this say 3 inches by 3 inches so I go here and then type in 3 and then type in 3A. So I've got 3 by 3 inch um, square. I'm just going to put it inside here. And then these are the objects that we're going to create a pattern. So take note that the, um, the concept of this one is that you have to uh, drag the object wherever it's centered so for example here this is the center I'm gonna drag it and I'm going to snap it to the edge right so make sure that your views uh, snap to objects is turned on so going back to my pattern creation here and another um, thing to do is if you put it in here you also have to put it over in the other side okay but there's a technique here we're in so that it's going to be lined up because if I click on plus sign my keyboard and then say I'm going to put it somewhere here 
but if it's not aligned it's not gonna work so it has to be aligned to you no know, opposite to that uh, to this position here so what I'm gonna do is since this is three inches by three inches our nudge you know this nudge this is the nudge distance the nudge distance should be three inches so same as the square so that when I click on this one and I click on my plus sign in my keyboard to duplicate and then I'm going to uh, click on my arrow key say to the left it's going to be three inches distance to here right so that's easier so now every time I move objects say plus sign my keyboard here and then and then click on the arrow button the distance the center of here and this one is three inches okay so that's what we're gonna do don't forget the nudge to be three inches if you made your square three inches okay so whatever is in the left side should also be in the right side and whatever's in the top side should be also in the in the bottom side okay so for example this one I'm going to put it somewhere here right or maybe shrink it down so make sure that it's in the center right and then I go plus sign my keyboard right and then I go uh, arrow key to the right so what else can we do so for example here I can also drag this and to the center and then I'm gonna go plus sign my keyboard and then arrow key to the right okay so now let's put some objects on top here so again center plus sign your keyboard and then go arrow arrow keys down okay and then what else do we need so for example this one center plus sign your keyboard and then arrow key going down and uh, we're gonna make a last one say probably this one uh, okay sure this one here so we click we can also rotate it doesn't matter as long as when you click on the object make sure it's in the center and then we just snap it there and then plus sign and then bring it down okay and then now for the rest you can just place it inside the um which we'll just call that a pattern square you can also resize it doesn't matter and put it here resize it i will just put a random objects inside it's a pattern anyway so here put this one here okay and uh, i can rotate this so it's random and then this one here i won't put this inside so so for example this one is final now so so we're gonna check so if 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 you have an object here on the left side you should have it right side here this one got it here this one got it there and also on top you got in the bottom this one you got in the bottom this and then the bottom okay and then the center the the object inside it doesn't matter okay so now we are going to power clip all of this one into the uh, square so I'm going to select everything first okay and then make sure to hold down shift because we're going to deselect the square hold down shift and click on the square okay so that so that we're not so we can power clip that into that square so and then you go to objects power clip place inside the frame and the frame is the square which is this one here perfect right now before creating the fill or creating the pattern fill or putting this in our database in our park in our pattern yeah part pattern database 
we are going to test this out if it's seamless, right? So you go plus sign in your keyboard and then you have to drag this to this node to the other node. Make sure it snaps. And yeah, it is, right? Now let's check the top. So I'm going to select the two squares, plus sign in your keyboard, and then I'm going to click on the node and then snap to the node. And then you take a look. So I'm going to remove the outline like this and we'll take a look. Okay, so it's seamless, right? So if I'm going to plus sign the keyboard again and then move this over here and then move it over here, now I have a, a, a seamless background, right? So now I'm going to delete all of these. So we already checked it, so which is fine. Now we are going to I wanna put I wanna I wanna put like a gray background here. Let's just say that gray background. And then I'm going to I'm ready to create. So what I'll do here, I'm going to to remove the fill. I'm gonna remove the fill to to say gray. Again, this is already vector, so um, I have that in the other tutorial, but let's just say this one here. That's just for for us to know that's the that's the vector for. So now we we are going to create this as a as a pattern field, right? So I have to click on and select this, which is my pattern, the new pattern, and then I click on object and create pattern fill. Okay, uh, once again, because this is new, so click create pattern fill. And then this one will ask you, is your pattern fill a vector, a bitmap, or two color? So I'm going to click on vector because it's vector, and I'm going to click OK. So now this is important because it gives you a crop. If we're going to crop this here, just inside here, and it won't be exact to the square, it will, won't be seamless. Okay, so make sure you snap to the to the node click and then snap to the other lower right corner node and then release and then once it's done you just click on accept okay and then you can name the uh, the the asset or the uh, pattern say for example I'm gonna put here in Alex new so that it will be different from the first one that I did Tags, uh, I'm not going to put any tags. And then category, I'm going to put it in abstract. I'll just put in abstract for now and click on save. Okay, perfect. So now I'll go back to my shirt or, or I'm going to go to my circle and I'm going to fill this, right? So I click on my, uh, my interactive fill and I go to my pattern fill, vector pattern fill. And then in here, this is my old one, the last one that I did. I click on this one. If I go to categories and I click on abstract, because that's where I put it in, uh, it's this one here. And that's that's it, right? Now, in here, again, I showed it to you earlier that you can scale the pattern, make it bigger. You can make it really small so that there's a lot of patterns in there. And it's all seamless, right? Okay, so now we are ready to put the pattern fill in our shirt. So you click on this one, uh, and then which is also a good idea because this one has a transparency. If I remove the transparency, okay, and then just normal here, it's gonna be like that, right? So, so add transparency first. Doesn't matter which color and then make this subtract, and then make this, say, 10 or 12, just lower the, the transparency. And then now you can fill this with your pattern, which is this one here, vector pattern. And then you can make it smaller or bigger, or you can rotate it, which is very nice. Now about the transparency, because 
if you look at the um, the pattern, right? It 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 becomes not opaque. It becomes transparent, which is nice. So that when you when you're creating a mock-up for your T-shirts, it it looks more realistic. And also, you're not stuck with this. You can always, you know, scale it, scale it, make it bigger, or make it smaller. That's it. So, I hope you like the like my tutorial. I really like this one because. Um, especially when you're doing backgrounds even for websites for for a package so for example uh, like a package design wherein you want to repeat a pattern this is the best way to do to create patterns because it also stores in the database like i showed you, you earlier so i hope you like my tutorial and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and if you already subscribed a, you can um, you, you're welcome to comment on this video and and say if you like it or if you don't like it or if you have any suggestions of any tutorials and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I have a new tutorial so thank you everybody and I will see you tomorrow bye for now